My name is Eske Jacobi, or Eske Jacobi, and I'm a Danish guitar player. I'm 56 years old, and I've been living on playing music for 40 years now. I've been playing almost any genre you can think of, except for classical music. And I think that I'm one of the more recorded musicians in Denmark. I think I appear on somewhere in the neighborhood of 450 records. I started in the music business when I was very, very young. Um, when I was a kid, I used to play uh, folk, Danish folk music with the uh, grown-up players. I lived in the country and the grown-up players would meet every Thursday night and play and I would just tag along the best I could. Uh, the good thing about that kind of music is that it's it's basically three chords and it's G and D and A. So I could, even though I was I was about nine years old, I could follow, and my time was okay. So th they let me. Uh, and I was never in any doubt that I wanted to become a musician, professional musician. So when I was in my teens, I would hang out in various clubs in, in Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. Uh, and I would sneak in or uh, pretend that I was older than I was and, and just basically do anything I could to get in and listen to whatever music that would be playing. And then I would sit in front of the stage and listening to all kinds of music and watching the players and putting together what I heard with what I saw. So a certain position of the, of the left hand would equal a certain sound and so forth. And so I just kept on hanging out on, on, on different clubs and venues and at some point somebody needed a, I think, I think a guitar player uh, called in sick or something in the last moment just before a gig and I said hey let me try I know your stuff I can I know your music let me try and they were desperate and they they let me and I uh, and I could play so they were like okay you can play that's okay you can you can tag along with us and so I did and 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 when I was 16 I formed my own band and we got we got gigs pretty fast, and, and we played jazz, rock, fusion, and funk. This is 79, 80. Uh, and then we got a record deal, and we started playing more uh, new wavish music uh, in, the, uh, in the vein of uh, uh, Blondie and uh, Robert Palmer and, and uh, talking heads and people like that uh, and we got we got recognized in, in Denmark and soon after that I got recognized by the business because I was this young guy who could actually play uh, and so very soon after that I got offered gigs with various pop stars and and started touring and then one thing led to the next and you know one thing after another and here I am 56 years old and 450 records later and uh, most importantly uh, I've done eight solo records and for the last seven years I haven't been doing much anything other than playing my own music and uh, and as for now I'm traveling the world playing my own music with different musicians in, in different countries. This world has so many great musicians to, to offer, so, so it's just a pleasure to travel and meet new people and basically always play with great people wherever I go. My source of inspiration is basically all kinds of sounds. Um, Musically, I come from a very diverse family. My, my father was a music critic on a newspaper. Uh, he, uh, he reviewed 
classical music and contemporary classical music. So I heard, you know, all the classical greats like Mozart and Beethoven and so forth. And then I would listen to to uh, contemporary stuff like Stockhausen and and uh, Ligeti and other composers from the 20th century. Um, so I got to appreciate the diversity of music and I got to understand that all genres has something interesting to offer. And as a kid, I was I was a great Beatle fan and a big Jim Hendrix fan and a big Who fan. Basically, you know, all all music that had guitar in it. Uh, and nowadays, I listen to um, I listen to jazz a lot, and I listen to um, I listen to electronica and I listen to hip hop. And uh, I listen to folk music from wherever in the world, African folk music, uh, Persian folk music. Um, uh, I'm very into uh, Pakistani folk music, Indian folk or Indian classical music and all kinds of Celtic music and, and, uh, and American folk music and American music in general, I'd say. Also the contemporary classical American music. So, and, and also I have, I have this notion that every sound has a musical relevance, you know, whether it's, it's a car driving by or it's the rain on the roof or, uh, you know, every sound I hear can be used as part of music. So my inspiration is basically sound, I'd say. My Desert Island effect would probably be uh, my Wawa Crybaby Wawa because uh, um, that uh, enables me to change the tone and the and and by emphasizing or by by uh, 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 yeah emphasizing a certain frequency, I can get it to play. I can get the sustain, and I can get the feedback very easy on on different uh, at different places on the fretboard. Um, and also, it's uh, it can it can do spacey stuff, and it can do funky stuff, and it can do uh, really sexy shit and ugly shit and you know I would I would stick with that my favorite piece of gear would be my hands the good thing about them is that that um, they are directly connected to my brain and music is what happens between my heart and my brain and what happens here and here is conveyed out to these hands which has fingers and fingertips that can make tones on all kinds of instruments and the good thing is that I can carry them wherever I go. They don't weigh a lot and they're always there at hand so to speak.